Hello Techies. In this session, we will learn how to work with wait for process action, which is available under system actions. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Before learning about this action, first we'll see what is wait in Power Automate desktop. Wait action enables you to delay the execution of the desktop flow for a specified period of time. Wait actions delays running the next action in the desktop flow until a certain event occurs. Now coming to the wait for process, if you see over here, by definition, it suspends the execution until the process starts or stops. For an example, run application action executes an application, right? Now let's assume this desktop flow, this entire desktop flow is dependent on some of the process. So for an example, while I am going to run this desktop flow, there is some actions which are dependent on the Chrome. In that case, I have to wait the process or the desktop flow for some time. How can I go ahead and do that? For the time being, I'm going to use run application to execute Chrome. Let me drag and drop. And then I'm going to give the application path over here as Chrome. And then I'm going to click on save. Now to execute this desktop flow, I have to wait till the application that is Chrome application has to execute. For that one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use wait for process. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. And then if you see the parameters over here, there are two parameters. One is process name, another one wait for process to. And you can see over here under the process name, if you drop down, you can find a lot of processor are, are available inside that. What are the process that are available? If you go for the task manager, and then if you go for the details, you will find all these process which are available over here. There you can see, I'm going to drop down once again. You can see over here, audit DOG, cam recorder, Camtasia. If you see over here, what are the processes available over here? The process which are suspended or running or whatever the state it may be, all the available processes are available in the drop down over here. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use Chrome over here, which is not available over there, but how can it will run? Now, once you are going to use run application, that process will start, right? By using run application, I'm going to give the same process name and then it will wait for the process to start or to stop. Two options over here, one is start, another one is stop. Okay, now I will wait till the process starts and then if you see over here, fail with timeout errors. I'm going to enable it. If it is taking more than five seconds or one second, then I'm going to give the duration over here as one, two, three, and so on in seconds. All right, now let me click on save. Let me disable the terminate process for the time being. And then I'm going to run the desktop flow. Flow execution started. At the first step, it will open the Contoso invoicing and then as a second step, it will open the Chrome and it will wait for some time or it will stop the desktop flow for some time till the Chrome will start. All right. I hope you understand how to work with wait for process action as part of this tutorial.